day student my name is Rafiu Jamil Adini ACA your financial accounting teacher for this section our topic for today is posting subsidiary books into ledger introduction we have learned in the past classes about subsidiary books and ledger we understand that subsidiary books are books where we first make recording before transferring to the ledger ledger on the other hand is the principal book of account which contains in a classified and summarized form permanent records of all transactions this topic is to teach us how we post from the subsidiary book to ledger learning objectives at the end of this lesson students will be able to one describe the division of subsidiary books two describe how each subsidiary books are posted to ledger three post transactions to subsidiary books and transfer to ledger subsidiary books subsidiary books are the books of original or prime entry they are used to first make entry of transactions before any entry can be made in the ledgers it must first be recorded in the subsidiary books the subsidiary books do not form part of the double entry division of subsidiary books one sales day book or sales journal two purchase day book or purchase journal three sales returns or return inwards journal four purchases returns or return outwards day book five cash book six general journal Posting subsidiary books to ledger, sales day book or sales journal. This is the book of original entry in which all credit sales are recorded before posting to ledgers. The total of the credit sales will be posted to the credit side of the sales ledger and debit side of individual personal ledger. Illustration july 16 sold goods on credit to wally 900 naira banji 4900 naira and peju 16000 naira the solution preparation of sales day book we have a five column table which contain dates particular folio detail and total july 16 on the date particulars wally in the detail 900 naira then banji 4900 peju 16000 naira total to sales account 21800 posting to ledger this will be credited to the ledger account, the sales account, as sundries, 21,800, and balance carried down on the debit side of 21,800. Wale will be debited with sales, 900 Naira. Balance carried down, 900 Naira. Banji debited with sales 4,900. Balance carried down on the credit side of 4,900. Wage debit side sales 16,000. Credit side balance carried down 16,000. Purchases day book or purchases journal. This is the book for recording all goods bought on credit from the suppliers. The total credit purchases is debited to the purchases account and credited to personal ledger of supplier we go on a short break now 
We'll be back to continue. Welcome back. In the first segment, we described subsidiary book and division of subsidiary book. We concluded in posting sales day book to ledger and describe purchase day book. Now we will take illustration on posting purchase day book to ledger. Illustration 2. July 12th, bought goods on credit from Lekon 3,600 Naira and Bolade 4,900 Naira. July 15, purchases on credit from Ade 1,100 Naira and Shola 3,400 Naira. Solution Preparation of Purchase Daybook five columns of date particulars folio detail and total july 12 lacon detail 3600 bolade 4900 the two totaled 8500 july 15 ade 1100 shola 3400 to so total 4500 the grand total of that the total is 13,000. Total to be purchased, total to purchase his account. Posting to ledger. On the debit side, we have the sundries of 13,000 under purchase account. And on the credit side, we have 13,000 balance carried down. In Lacon account, we'll be credited with purchases of 3,600. Balance carried down on the debit side. 3600 Bolade account credit side purchases 4900 balance carried down on the debit side 4900 in Ade's account credit side purchases of 1100 on the debit side balance carried down 1100 Shola account credit side purchases of 3400 and on the debit side balance carried down of 3000 400 three sales join sales return journal the sales return journal is used to record goods returned by customers it is also known as return inward day book the total is debited to return inward account and credited to customers accounts illustration july 18 goods return to us while 300 naira banji 600 naira solution preparation of return inward day book five column table of dates particular folio detail and total under the under date july 18 wale 300 banji 600 total to return inward account 900 posting to ledger the return inward account will be debited with 900 sundries and credited with balance carry down 900. Wale account will be credited with return inward of 300 and on the debit side balance carry down 300. Banji account on the credit side return inward of 600 and debit side balance carry down 600. Four purchases return book this is the book for recording goods return to the supplier as a result of one reason or another it is also known as return outward day book the total is credited to return outward account and debited to suppliers account we'll go on a short break now we'll be back to continue Welcome back. In the last segment, we described return inward and return outward day book. We looked at the illustration of purchase day book and return inward day book. Now we'll continue by looking at illustration on purchases return day book. Illustration 4. July 14. Return goods to Bola Day 900 Naira. Ade 500 Naira. Shola 400 Naira. Solution. Preparation of Return Outward Day Book. Five 
table columns of date, particular, folio, detail, total. July 14, Bola Day 900, Ade 500, Shola 400. Total to return outward account 1800. Posting to ledger. Return outward account will be credited with sundries 1800. And debit side balance carry down 1800. Bolade account will be debited with return outward 900. Balance carry down on the credit side 900. Ade account debited with return outward 500. Credit side balance carry down 500. Shola account debit side return outward 400. Balance carry down on the credit side 400. Cash book number five. This is the double entry account used to record cash transactions and also transactions with the bank. All items posted to the cash book will be transferred to the corresponding ledger using the double entry principle. That is, amount debited will be credited to the corresponding account and amount credited will be debited to the corresponding account. Steps in posting transactions to ledger. 1. Preparation of cash book. 2. Posting of items from cash book to ledger. 3. Preparation of day books or journal. 4. Preparation of other ledger from day books. For soft copy of these notes, please visit the Lagos State Ministry of Education Twitter handle at LASG Education. For added knowledge on the topic, kindly visit the following sites www.accountingnotes.net www.toppr.com YouTube FYJC Bookkeeping and Accountancy Thank you.